Good evening. This is Dennis Franks, and it's exciting to be with you tonight following J.R. Reidinger with a fabulous presentation in business building techniques and great things that are fundamentals that get you to the top. Tonight, it's a little more of the continuation. Uh, we are talking about follow-up with your existing customers. We are talking about building share of customer, meaning expanding the amount of dollars that your customers spend with you. And then we're going to talk about converting your customers into partners. And it's an exciting time because having a solid client base as preferred customers, you'll never run out of people to talk to in regards to evaluations of the business. So it's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to this presentation tonight. So let's get started and let's talk a little bit more about what we are focused on this evening. All right, okay, so here we are, title slide, raring to go. I hope you've got your notes out, notebook paper out, pen or your phone or your computer. However you're taking notes tonight, I think it's a lot of great information. So let's dive in and let's grow our business. Uh, fundamentals, preferred customer goals and actions. Uh, what we're trying to do is create 10 to 25 preferred customers that are going to purchase on a monthly basis. Now, again, don't get confused with the numbers here. We're trying to get 10 to 15 repeat customers, but we're gonna have to get more customers to get those 10 to 15. And remember, some will purchase larger quantities and some smaller. Um, but the thing I want you to remember is we don't want your first sale to be your last sale with a new customer. I think that's very important. That should be a goal and that should be part of the culture of your business as you bring on partners. An excellent experience uh, will give a better opportunity to follow up and lay a foundation for what we call lifetime value. Um, that's the real deal. That's exactly what we should be seeing with every customer that we have. That it's so much more than that sale of a product. It's all future sales. It's all future referrals that they give you. It's about the information that they provide to you, that you provide to Market America to add new products to grow with. It's about those referrals that come to you that become customers, their future sales, their future information, their future referrals. It goes on and on and they can actually then become your partners. Uh, so it's quite valuable in what we do. So it's exciting that we know there are important things to keep in mind. Now, making ongoing efforts to add new preferred customers weekly is where a lot of unfranchised owners go wrong. And why do I say this? Well, they come in, they build some initial customers for the business, they're growing that retail profit and they're focusing 100% on recruiting. And, we shouldn't be saying recruiting as much as we should be saying qualifying, but that's a process that we're always involved with too. So selling product and selling the business is ongoing universally. It never really stops because we're always meeting people who are looking for us. So we end up telling them exactly what they need to do to evaluate our business. And remember, not all customers will buy a second time. Uh, some will order sporadically, some products lost, last for multiple months, like a Pentaxel might last two to three months before they buy their next product. Um, and so some customers will be consistent, some will be inconsistent. So that's why 10 to 25 customers we want to keep going. Now, some of you that are fortunate enough to have their own businesses or practices that are on tonight, it's important that building that relationship through our products will eventually identify the people that have the best results. And if you keep thinking about this, approximately 50% of all preferred customers who basically have used our products for three consecutive months, if you ask them, will become a partner based on an evaluation approach and basically moving forward with that. So remember that when you talk 
to a potential customer and then moving them forward as a customer. So let's talk about follow-up and building share of customer. And so standard follow-up recommendations is on day one, day three, day seven, day 14, day 21. Then based on that, based on the relationship that you build, then you'll be able to adjust your schedule with that client. We'll talk a little bit about how it should go, but ultimately it's your business and you'll need to make the recommendations. Now be sure every customer receives a preferred customer number and a list of benefits from shopping at shop.com. We'll be talking about this tonight. Uh, utilize the Nutrophysical, noodle, utilize the TLS weight loss profile, and utilize the skincare analysis as motivescosmetics.com with every preferred customer. And if you can, do the nutritional analysis, the weight loss profile, and the skincare analysis with your preferred customer via Zoom, and it will be a far better experience. Uh, also, we want to provide tips for shopping online at yourshop.com forward slash your URL. I'm recommending that you consider going to get your own URL. For example, myshop.com forward slash Dennis Franks is dennisfranks.net. So I forward them to dennisfranks.net, which is really myshop.com site, but there's no confusion on forgetting to put in Dennis Franks or if they put in the wrong email or the no uh, preferred customer code, but this is a way to get them always to my site. Uh, once they complete an analysis, you want to discuss the priorities that they have for their quality of health or their quality of skin care, their quality of weight management, uh, the best possible recommendations. Do not try to oversell on the first experience using our products. I'm telling you, if you try to oversell right up front, you're gonna get a one-time sell and they'll be gone. Now, just so you know, to find the nutraceutical, you go to shop.com, you enter in the search Nutrophysical. Here you can see I went in myshop.com, my Nutrophysical. Since I take it every three months, I can either view my results or I can retake the analysis. If this is a new client, it's going to take them through all the explanations of the Nutrophysical nutritional analysis, and it will also do frequently asked questions so they'll get a good idea on what they can expect as they go through. To find our skincare analysis, you'll go to motivescosmetics.com forward slash your URL. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are an unfranchise owner, a health professional unfranchise owner, all of you have multiple sites, get familiar with them. So if you wanna work in skincare and cosmetics, now you want to go to the motivescosmetics.com site. Okay, we also have in skincare a lumierdevie.com forward slash site that you all have too. But our skincare analysis is here at the motivescosmetics.com site, and this is where you find it. Next, let's talk about tlsslim.com forward slash your URL. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed it. It's got a great redesign. This is where you're going to find your weight loss profile, but your landing page, you must scroll down on the landing page until you see weight loss profile. And this is where the individual takes it. Now, with the Nutrophysical uh, analysis, with the skincare analysis and the weight loss profile, once a preferred customer or any customer takes these, you will get a copy of the answers and the recommendations so that you can discuss them with the individual that has taken the analysis. This is either a good start or a good follow-up tool for your preferred customers. Now, one of the things that I tend to do is I use this secondary. After I have a preferred customer, 
I'm now going to follow up and invite them to take one of these, depending on who is my customer, because every customer is a little bit different, as we remember. And we're going to invite them and include the link on how to get to that analysis. Now, remember, do not use the top area for the link. Go to the bottom of the page where it says copy or share, or there's two like paper clips coming together. That is what you click on to be able to share. But do it from the bottom of the page, not the top of the page. That ensures that it goes back to your website. A lot of people do this incorrectly, and we want to make sure that we're making it correct. And that's going to assure your customers coming back to your site. Okay. Now, also, in follow-up, when we start talking about this, we're going to start asking questions, you know, we're going to start asking about health challenges or things that they want to be aware of. Now, again, I tend to lean towards health products since I'm into health and nutrition, weight management and age management, as well as children's health. That's my focus in my business. Now, refer to your preferred customer information that you captured and ask questions about them and let them give you as much information as possible. Now, understand this. I'm gonna show you your customer manager site where you register preferred customers and how you can add more detailed information. This is a major problem. I'm saying this is what you can do a coring on with your team. This is a major problem because the unfranchised owners stop collecting information about their customers, which can become very valuable as they have conversations. So let's just take a look at this. Now, I'm just showing you the lower portion after the general information. So here we're talking marital status, educational levels, we're talking husbands, date of birth, uh, children, um, whether they have pets, are they working full time, are they city or rural, family income, you know, all of this stuff we're gaining as we have conversations with them. Please remember to go back to your preferred customer file, which is back on your franchise management area under customer management and enter this information. So when you go to the customer and you go into their information, in the lower right hand corner, there's something that says more details. You click on that and more questions and places to put information appear so that you constantly learn more about your customers. Why is this important? Lifetime customer value. Remember that. Lifetime customer value. Now, don't overwhelm preferred customers with too many products. All right. That's really important. We get so excited because we have so many great products. And the longer you're in the business, the more you know about your specialties, and then it keeps expanding, all right? So from there, have them start just on the priority products, what their major concerns are. Let's deal with what they want to deal with first. Let's prove that our products do exactly what they say. Now, in the event you're unsure, you have to ask, let's prioritize your health concerns, okay? What would you like to work on first, okay? So again, what are we doing? Conversational marketing, we're probing, we're asking questions, which is so important. You gotta remember this. Keep the volley going, keep asking questions because it's gonna help you get more people a better understanding on the things we can offer. What do you mean? We match products to people and people to product. That's one-to-one -one marketing, remember that. All right, now, follow up, let's talk about it. As soon as you sell a product, whether it is a Motives Cosmetic or whether it is a skincare product, whether it is a debt shredder or a new website, or a children's health product, you call up and you make sure that they have taken the product and they have taken it correctly. Example, isotonics. Like 
anything else on our market, it needs to be taken correctly so they get the desired outcome. You know that one capful for two ounces of water, okay? That's important. Too much water, it becomes hypotonic. It too, not enough water or too much other things in it, you got hypertonic. So again, it's not isotonic. And what are we paying for? For the fast delivery of a high nutritional content. So it's a good idea to share your excitement with them using the product and anticipating the results. Now, not only the results of what the product does, but the results of why the customer bought the product. You gotta think, remember to think, use your head more than just a hat rack. It's very important, all right? Now, on day three, you need to give them another communication, a call preferably, or a text checking in if they've taken their products and they're still mixing it correctly or taking it as directed. That's why we're calling it. We were thinking about you, want to make sure you get the benefits you want. The products don't work unless you take them, and they work better when you take them as directed. Day seven, ask about any changes. Do they feel any different? It's good on day seven to start off by sharing a third-party testimonial saying, hey, Tom, I was just thinking about you. I saw this amazing result from our joint formula where this gentleman who had a hard time following through with a golf swing all of a sudden was a whole new golfer based on taking this product for a little over a month. And I'm excited because that's exactly what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, so tell me, you're feeling any changes, okay, right now. So this is what we're asking. Now, again, they may say something negative. So don't get like crazy. It may be a good sign. Remember that. You know, they may, some, if they're on our ultimate aloe product or they're taking a product, uh, the fiber. Uh, I'm going to the washroom a lot because I'm drinking a lot of aloe juice. Well, but basically they're having a lot more movements and my goodness, you know, a lot of people would really like that experience, but the bottom line is, hey, that's not unusual because that's one of the things that happen when you take this product. Your body is cleansing itself, okay? But make a note when you hear something like that to follow up within two to three days to check up on the person because what does that do? It shows you care. When you show you care, you build the relationship. And everything that we do is about relationships. And for those health professionals that are listening today, there's no reason why your team can't do the follow-up for you. Now, follow up and building share a customer on day 14. Now we're calling to make sure they're taking the, the, the products as directed and they're basically asking if you're noticing any positive changes. And then that's a good time to share a special. And usually I like to share a special or a hot deal either with a product that's, that complements the product they bought or possibly a partner store that has related items to what their goals were, okay? Hey, listen, with so many deals every day, we're bound to find something. And oh, by the way, the worst case scenario is you go into your back office and put a 10% coupon on one of the products that is a complement to the product that they're taking. I hope you know how to do that. That's in your back office, all right, under marketing. Now, follow up on day 21, primarily checking up, usually asking for the next order because now they're down to seven days of product. And if they're getting the results they want, they want to keep going because we know that you have to be consistent. If you're going to stop, you're going to end up going back to where you started. And it's always good to offer something educational to your customer. I learned this years ago and it works and I live by it. An educated consumer is a long-term customer. It's critical that you create an avenue to get information to all of your customers based on what their needs are and what their interests are. Once again, this falls back into the details under your preferred customers 
on favorite products and areas of interest. There's a place for you to write in there. See, like my daughter helps me with marketing my customers, okay? I pay my daughter to help market my customers. That's a good thing, okay? But she can go back and look up every customer that buys or has bought over a period of time and communicate with them. You gotta have the information or you can't hand off to somebody to help you out because where's the real money? not just in establishing customers, it's getting to that next level of distribution where you have many unfranchised owners serving many customers like you do, okay? So check your alerts daily on unfranchised.com. See if any preferred customer product orders were made or reorders. Open, review, send them out immediately. You have to do this daily. Please do not make excuses. Somebody has to check customer orders every day. Be sure to send a quick thank you note, a quick text or call. This is another important reason to have details about your preferred customer in the back office. Now again, nothing's more impressive when you're saying, thanks Mary for the order. I hope Tom, your husband is doing well. Okay, oh, how's your son John in this freshman year at college. Why? Because you care. What's that do? Bring the relationship closer. So it's excellent to send out additional follow-up educational materials, articles, videos, congratulation notes. Listen, if you're not looking at our unfranchised blog, JR's blog, Lauren's blog, there is so much information available for you out there. Please start getting it on file. You may find a nice article, save it, save it. It doesn't have to be by Market America. It could just be in the area of interest, okay? Now, learn the product systems, all right? This is important. If you're gonna build share of customers, you've gotta know what products complement the products that you are selling. Okay, I understand we sell everything, but the point that I'm making here, you should select a major or two skincare cosmetics, go right ahead. Healthcare, healthcare, weight loss, healthcare, age management, healthcare, children's healthcare, whatever it is, you should know whatever products that you are passionate about. I'm going to just show in this specific area, health and nutritional. Everybody that sells nutritional products should know the non-negotiable three. It's the isotonics, multivitamin, the OPC3, and our omega-3, our heart health omega-3. Those are the non-negotiables. If anybody wants to start a nutritional program, that's where you begin. Now we have a basic five in uh, nutrition, and that is the three non-negotiable plus a vitamin D plus K2 and activated B complex. You need to know what activated means when it's in front of bees, and it's basically saying it's in a form that your body can use readily, automatically. It doesn't have to take it apart and put it back together. Good stuff, faster results. All right, sexy seven, we're adding probiotics 10. Why? Health begins in the gut. We've got to get to the gut. We've got to get that good microflora in there. And the advanced fiber powder, puts a great environment for the microflora to grow as also putting bulk and cleansing out the large intestines. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the sexy seven. Uh, the essential nine, we're just adding on magnesium and coenzyme Q10 from our health, heart health side. And bam, we've got an amazing <laughs> building share of customer for somebody that's into health, somebody that wants to be five on the scale of how they feel. Uh, and zero being good, five being really good, okay? So I hope that counts. Now take a look at this. Now I'm gonna talk about cosmetics. So if I'm in motives, then I should know what the most popular motives products are. Well, here happens to be the top 10. And so things like foundation brush, the applicating things, um, the bronzers, the eye base, uh, the 10 years younger setting spray, the mineral mascara, mineral lip shine. What's that tell you? People are looking for healthy colors, okay? So 
you should know these are the popular products if you're selling motives this is where you're going to go after the first sell or while you're working with them now you can go into skincare essentials if i'm going in all about skin i should know in a handout these are different skincare products that are matched together based on skin type that's on the right hand side this is in your downloads and then on the other side these are featured when learning about it and are most popular so that's a great way to go if you're into skincare skincare got great products with high business volume all right good retail profits and if you really want to get something really good that's economical hey this is just a great product to carry around. This basically rose refresher. What I love about this for a woman or even a guy, it's a spritz. It livens up your face, freshens it up. It makes on cosmetics, the colors pop again. It makes you look fresh. This is what every woman needs in their purse. If you know a woman, this is a product that you can sell to them. Guys, learn about this. This is a product that you wanna to sell to men to give to their girls, okay? All right, good. What else do we got here? Oh my goodness. Talk to me about a millennial or a Gen Z that doesn't want to have the hot colors in the lip gloss that's going to just make those lips pop. Are you kidding me? Everybody's going to want this. You know what's even good about this? It retails at $14. Everybody can afford $14 to look cool, especially if you're a millennial or a Gen Z. All right, so what am I trying to do? Building share of customer is as easy as knowing your business, okay? Please recognize this. So keeping a small inventory on hand, I'm a big, big, uh, I really endorse this. Uh, in the background you see here, I carry extra products, the ones I love the most, the ones that people start the most because I talk about them, and I find that if I have them in hand and I'm talking to somebody here at the house or in the neighborhood, I can come in and deliver it. Can I go to my website and send them there? Yes. And that's fine, but I've lost sales by sending people to my website. Sometimes I'll take the order, take the money, go in and do the website order for them and have it delivered. Then I'll sign them on as a preferred customer, okay? So that's important to consider. All right, now, when starting a new customer in person, it's easier to have an add-on sell if you have the inventory. Oh, by the way, you know, with the OPC3, if you're not able to do it, maybe using the OPC choose along with a trial size OPC will ensure that you get your OPC daily. All right, bam, so I sell a isotonics OPC, I sell the OPC choose, boom. A, B, C, D, A, yes, yes. I will say this, getting people to comply with the products and using them gets the best results. Also, you have options, okay? You can receive an order online and you can supply it from your inventory if you have your own iTransact account. This is where you collect the money based on the purchase on your website. You get a notification that you've got an order and you have the option to fill it yourself or you can send it to the company to fill, okay? Your call. In some cases, it's easier for me to basically take the order, fill it myself, even if it's out of state. Why? Because I can add information, I can add additional samples, okay? Also, if it's on a reorder, I can also, with that order, if they're a customer that buys frequently, it's not unusual for me to send them a isotonics cup and maybe a week supply, in this case, the women's formula. They may be avid users of our calcium and vitamin D, and basically, I may wanna introduce them to a complete product, so I'll just include this, and that's something that the company can't do when I pass through an order. So I can personalize the order to enrich the value of that order. So that's something you can do with iTransact. So sending an order out online, 
It's not unusual if they're out of my area. What do you mean, Dennis? Once again, if it's an out of state and I don't happen to do business there often, it's oftentimes easier for me to basically take that, send it myself, because here at my home, I have pickup every day by UPS and FedEx, okay? So I can send out the product order, putting in different things that I want to support the product that they have ordered. In some cases, the people that order more product, I will send a full product catalog. Folks, if you haven't bought your 10 or 15 of the new product catalogs, you are making a mistake. It's 104 pages. So immediately, anybody that's buying regular from you needs a catalog. Invest in a catalog. A couple bucks won't kill you, okay? But that catalog will sit around their house and they will page through it, okay? I guarantee it. All right, now also remember, Put labels on everything. What are you talking about, Dennis? Well, once again, on my OPC Choose, you're gonna find my name and my address, my numbers on here so that when they wanna reorder, I'm easy to find. Seven day kit, same thing. At the bottom, I'm putting my name, I have my information right there so people can see it. A big mistake is people don't put their information for reorders on the products that they sell. As much as I love the company sending out my products that I sell, they're not getting the reminders that I can put on the product myself, okay? So again, look at what can be your competitive edge. How can you keep that customer experience so that they know you care about them? Put labels on everything you have. Don't forget, get yourself isotonics cups. It's important. Look, I've got sleeves of isotonics cups around the house. I'm telling you, because if somebody is buying isotonics, then you want to make sure that they're basically able to have a cup that makes it easier to take. Does that make sense? It's all on MA promotions, all right? Now, let's think about sending thoughtful gifts during the holiday seasons for the birthday special occasions, all right? Listen, don't be so tight. Invest in the customer, especially your regular customers. Why? Lifetime customer value, remember that, okay? I love the Motus palettes. So that's a great gift. Gift cards are great. Restaurant.com's great. Um, free product samples. Once again, great way to go, depending on you know who's going in there. I like sending the isotonics with maybe the turn down or the turn up or both. Um, uh, the, the OPC chews are great. I mean, people say, well, Dennis, that's $30. Well, you, you take one of my customers, like Wendy Hines, who's buying $350, $400 an order. Are you kidding me? I send her hand lotion, the Lumiere de V body and hand lotion. We love it in our household. I don't know about you. If you don't use this, you've got to be nuts. Um, <laughs> Lauren, Lauren Reidinger and I were talking about it. We go through a lot in our families. It's, it's, it's a, an amazing product, and it's got good IBV and BV. So again, when you start thinking about things, why not? You got to invest a bit, all right? So you can also pick up great bargains at the major events, at conventions, at the World Conference. We sell through products that were either discontinuing or getting close to expiration. Like we have this trim tea cell, right? Hey folks, Go ahead and buy some extra trim tea or trim cafe. It's like dirt cheap right now. It's not going to stay that way, but it has an expiry date maybe in the next four to five months. Okay. But give it away free as a gift. It's great. All right. It'll come back to you in spades. So once again, you got to think about what? We got to think about lifetime customer value. All right. Market to your preferred customers weekly. All right. God, that's a lot of work. No, it's not. Not if you put aside 40 minutes or 30 minutes and you send out the deal of the week. Let's just say every Saturday morning you send it out. First thing you get up, get your butt up out of bed 30 minutes sooner. Go up, put the deal of the day or make the deal of the day with your coupons and send them out to your customers, okay? 
leverage social media. If you have customers, then you should be following them, friend them, get on their Instagram, be a part of their life, know what's happening. Why? Makes conversation much easier when you connect with them, okay? Notify preferred customers when stores offer increased cash back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, every week in your unfranchised news, we give updates about what's going on in shop.com partners. You need to look at this stuff, all right? And if you have shop buddy, you need to see some of the deals. And if you know what products that are being sold to your customers, like a good unfranchised owner is, then they're able to look at stores that might reflect the interest of why they're on a product, okay? Copy and paste interesting blog articles and get them out. Send e-flyers. You know, a new health study is pretty cool, you know? Uh, people love to know that you care. Absolutely. Uh, again, this is just another picture of shop.com. If I've got a business owner, a small business owner, they're all freaked out right now. I basically love sending them things like keep your stress levels down and make the recommendation for Bliss or make the recommendation for the TLS Axe product, which is great for helping people to relax. And of course, turn down turn down isotonics turn down basically is another product it doesn't put you to sleep it basically relaxes you so that you can get rest all right so remember that um why shop at shop.com you know i'm talking about not you the unfranchised owner i'm talking about why your customer should shop at shop.com all right so earn cash back daily deals exclusive brands shop buddy Okay, can you explain it? If you can't, you should. Shop local. Amazon doesn't offer that. None of these other sites offer this. Mark Ashley just added another 7,000 stores where if you register your credit cards as a preferred customer, you can go put a zip code in and find local stuff. I'm in a little town called Cornelius, and there's got to be 25 different stores within five minutes of my house that if I use my credit card, I get instant IBV. Are you kidding me? <coughs> Crazy. I'm getting fired up right now. I'm going to have to wet the whistle to keep me going. All right. So anyway, with that, let's keep on talking. E-gifts. Auto ship earns 5% more off. Okay. Did you know that? <clears throat> Have you offered it to any of your customers? Sometimes I wonder if your business is open, meaning are you talking to anybody? All right, restaurant.com, and you can also get cash back from one cart payments or use cash back for one cart payments. So once again, lots of stuff. And you wanna hear something really good? Here's a, here's a kicker. Listen, Mary, by you shopping at shop.com, you're helping me out. We provide great service with wonderful products, but when you're shopping at shop.com, you're supporting a local business, and I really appreciate that, okay? So again, don't forget that. You got relationships with people, right? So have bags, plastic bags. Well, folks, I'm gonna tell you what. Look up in the little corner and see me. I always buy bags. There's not a product that I send out that's not in the bag. I hope they reuse it again. I don't even care if they put their doggy stuff in here. It's all good. Use it again. Oh, do you have cool stuff like this? Shop.com bags. Oh, Dennis, you're really going to the next level. Yes, I am. Absolutely. Why? It's my business. It's my business, folks. Travel bottles, shaker mugs. It's all good. MA Promotions, it's on your back office under the ordering menu item. Look down to the bottom to MA Promotions. You need to make it happen, folks. You need to make it happen, it's really good. If Mark in America sends you a new preferred customer, make sure you email them or call them immediately within 24 hours. Now, there was a time when we backed off and we didn't wanna bother them. I'm back to old school, I'm making friends. Now, it's your choice, do what you want. Don't bug people but make sure they know that you are available for them. I just put up some of the cool stuff. I happen to be a TLS coach. That's a Transitions Lifestyle System coach. So it's a health coach. So I got a t-shirt, boom, people ask me, oh, you're a health coach. Let me ask you a question. 
um, isotonics, motives, MA, you know, you got it all different colors. I've got trim t-shirts. I've got all kinds, OPC shirts, you know, you name it. I got it. Why? It's my business folks. And I'm proud of it. All right. So now welcome letters. Thanks for registering. Okay. Now this is critical. Think carefully about this. People become a preferred customer. Do you think they put their preferred customer ID number in their phone? Ooh, I don't know. You should send them a letter, tell them their preferred customer number, ask them to join Shop Buddy, and put that PC ID number in their phone so that when they're looking to sign in, because if they don't sign in, then they don't get cash back. Yes, you can change it to your email address, but people can remember basically a seven digit number, okay? Some people are number people, some people are email people. Let them be the, uh, the person to make the decision. So again, welcome people to the website with some basic information as to how they can always catch the best deals by joining our shop buddy. Uh, also being able to use their sign in with their preferred customer number. Always will guarantee them coming back to your site. Remember why we do this, to bring them back to your site. Okay, now, promotional items, again, on franchise.com, ordering MA promotional items. You need to do it. Get yourself visible. Be proud of what you do. It's fine. It's okay. Happens all the time. Okay. So here we go. Follow up and building share of customer. So the ongoing retail profit will provide cash flow for the cost of operating your business. So what are some of the business expenses? Tickets and travel. Okay. Absolutely. Phone bills office supplies. Um, how about the stickers that you put on the product that show people where to get their next order? Cleaning services. That's right. When you're doing a home product party, you need to have the house cleaned up. Uh, internet, car payments. If you have more than one car in the household, is that car dedicated to your business? Oh, wow. Okay, there's a lot of different things that are available. Talk to your tax consultant on how to maximize those deductions. Now, keep building up, following on building share of customer. Bottom line is there should be thank yous. You want to really freak somebody out? Don't text, don't Facebook message them, don't call them. Whoa, how about this? This is old fashioned, really old fashioned. This is an envelope and this is a Dennis Frank's thank you card where I can personalize it. Look, you write a little note, you put it in here, you put a stamp on it, you send it out. You may think this is old, but I'm gonna tell you what, this still works. So why don't you freshen it up on special occasions? Go the extra you know, mile. Stop sending me those funny cartoons and those little things to wish me something. All right. Write me a card. Show me that you really care that you'll take three minutes to do instead of 30, not even 30 seconds. All right. Why? Because they want to know you care. A caring customer is a long-term customer. All right. They won't care about you until you, they know how much you care about them. All right. Now let's talk about converting Preferred customers to partners. We're coming down to the stretch here, okay? So let's talk about this a little bit. So when a preferred customer has used our products, okay, you know, for at least three months, okay, three months in a row, okay, you owe it to them to talk to them about the business behind the product, okay? <clears throat> so look at this, real simple. You don't have to use it. Thanks for your patronage. I'm so happy that you're enjoying our products. I want to ask you if you would evaluate the business behind the product. Business has been very good, and I am looking to expand my business. Have you ever owned a business or thought of owning a business before? That's all, and see what they have to say, okay? Now, whether they do or don't, we've opened up the door, and it opens up 
for a bunch of themes to use, okay, that you can discuss and ultimately, worst case, you can get some great referrals. Best referrals have always come from my best customers, all the time, okay? And without a doubt, you owe it to the person because this happened to me. In fact, it happened to be my, my good friend, Sam Pitts, who happens to be an executive director and been in the business since 1992. And where I used to live in the greater Philadelphia area, I had this great neighbor. He was a dentist, Dr. Jamore. Guess what? I kept wanting to go over and talk to him. Guess what happened? Sam Pitts called him up. He met him through a friend of a friend. And Sam called me up and says, guess what, Dennis? I just sponsored one of your neighbors, Dr. Demure. And you know what? I said, congratulations. I hung up the phone and I went to my wife and I said, why didn't you make me go see him sooner? <laughs> But there's a great lesson to say, if you don't ask them or you don't share about it, somebody else will. And then you get all upset because they were their, your customer, but you never offered the business because you were greedy because you just wanted the retail profit. All right. So now here's another way you can do it. All right. Hey, I really appreciate your excitement and patronage, patronage and I'm so happy that you're enjoying the product. Same as before. Since this is how I got into network marketing, since you have been using our products, you've referred to me four new customers. And while I really appreciate those referrals, you know, business has been really good. I'm looking to expand my business and I'm going to basically say, wouldn't it be nice if those product sales were your profits and not mine? You know, have you ever owned a business? So do you see where I'm going? So if you have a customer that's sending you referrals, good for you. But the bottom line is it's really too easy to convert somebody that's given you four or five referrals that are your customers, okay, to get that person in the business and you give those four or five people to that new unfranchised owner as their customers. Does everybody get that? You got to get this point. What I'm doing tonight is very important. You need to do it. But at the same time, you need to keep in perspective that it's selling products, selling the business, selling tickets are the results producing activities. And once again, this conversation opens up a bunch of themes that we can start talking at. Some people will say, can I take a preferred customer to a training? And the answer is absolutely. Okay, which trainings are best? I would basically take my preferred customer that buys a specific kind of product into a training that they would be most interested in. So if my person is buying skincare and cosmetics from me, I don't necessarily will bring them into a Nutrimetrics meeting. If I have somebody interested in dealing with health professionals, I'm going to take them to a Nutrimetrics 101. If they're interested in health professionals, they may be interested in our shop financial because a lot of health professionals are in debt, but they may not be interested in building websites. Get it? All right. Uh, bringing a preferred customer to a local seminar works too. It's eye-opening, especially if they want to know more about the business behind the product. Perfect. If you get into the evaluation, the next step for a customer would be a local seminar. Love that. Bringing them to an online Zoom UBP, an online summit for TLS weight loss solutions, absolutely, or Nutrimetrics. Man, I'm gonna tell you what, that'll blow your mind. They have some of the best online summits I have ever seen, great speakers, free, love it. So yes, preferred customers through education make great unfranchised owners. All right, so the best part of partnering with a preferred customer, really good. They're very likely to become Go nows, but they're for sure going to be promoting the products and long term users. I call them BV generators, okay? And BV generators basically drive the residual income. Best part of customers not becoming a partner, they continue to be a great preferred customer and a person who will refer candidates to you to go through the evaluation process. And once again, it's all about lifetime customer value. Wow, that's it. I'm sure that's it. And I want you to know, this is a great seminar. 
whether you got it out of it, I'm going to tell you what, you want to share this with all of your teammates as well as new on franchise owners. And best of all, they'll be ready for you. So let's go ahead and stop share, come back here and see what we got. Okay. Uh, we got a couple minutes. Um, let's see. When will the Nutrophysical will be available in Singapore and Malaysia? Good question. We're working on it right now. Wish all these evaluations such as Nutrophysicals on other countries. Thank you, Alice. We're working on it. Um, is there a follow-up handout listing and when and what to discuss? Well, there can be based on the information that we talked about tonight. I just want you to know something. Um, don't wait for Market America to do all the work. Uh, we welcome you to organize some things, okay? Um, do you emphasize customers to wait for the absorption time of the isotonics products before they eat? Yes, absolutely. Uh, if they say it is troublesome, I'm in a rush in the morning, how will you uh, reply? Take it with you, mix it at work. You don't have to mix it first thing in the morning. Listen, you can go to work, have your coffee, have breakfast, Take it sometime around 11.30 before you go out to lunch. It'll be fine. You can take it later in the day, okay? Uh, do I send the deal of the week individually? Linda Swanger, yes, uh, in an email. Yes, how do you market to them? You can market up to five at a time, but primarily I, I pay for my daughter to spend extra time to make sure that they personalize at each one. I always say something to them. Um, will all Zoom webinars on the YouTube later? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Uh, if you bring someone in who just wants to sell the product, would you bring them uh, in as a sales rep or UFO? <laughs> well, uh, that's a loaded question. Uh, I'm not a big fan of bringing in sales reps. Why? Because they don't like to fill out a Form 1000. If they don't fill out the Form 1000, their volume purges every quarter. So let's take a look at this. Let's just say this person sells $500 a month in product BV, okay? They make an extra 300 to 500 uh, profit a month. At the end of every three months, 1,500 BV gets subtracted from everybody above that person. Ah, I wouldn't want to do it that way um, between you and I. Uh, so that's just my preference. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, if someone is new to Isotonics, would like to try it, but I like to register to get cost price. <laughs> Listen, there's no way I'm letting a customer that's never used a product become a UFO to get it at a discount. No, 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 Angie, that's not the way to build the business. That's putting bodies in and hoping, hoping that they're on auto ship and hoping that they fill their Form 1000 and hoping that they actually do a renewal. Folks, love you. We got a great session coming up with Jim Winkler. I'm going to leave right now and wish you only the best. I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for being with me tonight. And remember, make tomorrow your best day. If it's the morning, make today your best day. Take care.